hello everyone how are you this is the second video i hope you have the first video in the first video i speak quickly to save time and space but now let me explain for you in a good way okay so let's start with revising the previous about classification classification is a systemic arrangement in a group okay the process of classifying living organism is called taxonomy again don't forget how organism classified in a group group it okay mm, the, 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 the other one is the fifth kingdom those fifth kingdom are kingdom uh, monera which include bacteria and blue algae kingdom fungi kingdom protist kingdom plantia and the kingdom animala so far uh, we have seen four of them so uh, today our main point is kingdom animalia okay kingdom animalia include uh, animals okay the main character of animals are animal are multicellular a eukaryotic heterotrophic organism as you know multicellular means made of many cell and eukaryotic they have three nucleus and heterotrophic means they depend on another to, to survive okay they have a complex movement they have a nerve coordination which can sense their environment okay uh, we can divide animal kingdom into two as vertebrate and invertebrate and you can see uh, in the form of tree structure okay vertebrate are animals with backbone invertebrate are animal without backbone okay uh, animals without backbone is as you said before invertebrate there are eight groups of invertebrate Mollusks, flatworm, anelida, roundworm, sponges, tunoderms, cnidaria, and arthropods are the best uh, examples of or the best groups of invertebrates. Okay, let's see one by one the phylum Polyphera, we call it sponge, the simplest invertebrate, and they, they carry out through a small specialized or few specialized cells because they do not have uh, guts and as well as nerve. They reproduce sexually and asexually. They move slowly. The next one is the phylum Cynodaria or Colendrita. Uh, this, in, this phylum include jellyfish, hydria, coral. They are radially symmetry, mean their body structure is divided into many half. Okay, which is mirror image of one another they have a tentacle which which help them to capture prey okay these tentacles have a poison chemical which immobilize uh, the prey the next one is the phylum platyhelminthes or flat worm Okay, this is the simplest animal with bilateral symmetry. Bilateral symmetry means uh, when the body structure divided into half, okay, which is mirror image of one another, we call it bilateral. They have a body cavity, we call it a uh, we call it a and they live inside the water. Many of them are parasite. The best example of platform is liver fluke, yes, uh, tapeworm, as you see. Uh, here as example the next one is the phylum nematoda we call it round worm round worm uh, round worm are thought to be uh, the most numerous animal in the world okay they are found almost everywhere uh, every uh, almost in all environment okay uh, they do not have a circulatory system but they do have a complete a complete digestive system which runs from mouth to anus they are bilaterally symmetry and the best examples of nematoda is ascaris pinworm hookworms and trichoworms okay here are the those are the best examples of nematoda the next one is the phylum anelida the segmented worm okay their body is divided into regular segment they have a closed blood, blood circulatory system. They are hermaphrodite, mean uh, they have a bo uh, they have both um, male and female sex organ. Okay, the best example here is earthworm. Earthworm is very important in increasing soil fertility. Okay. Uh, the next one is the phylum mollusca. The phylum mollusca is the best. Uh, 
all intelligent invertebrate okay out of invertebrate uh, the the intelligent one is classified here in the form in the phylum molluscus octopus and the squid okay they are soft body animal and they have usually they have uh, they have a protective shell okay uh, here the best example of the phylum molluscus are a snail octopus squids okay the next one is uh, chinodermata spiny skinned animal spiny skinned animal okay all of them are marine animals they move around using their tube feet the adult uh, the adult one have four or five arms okay and they are ecologically they are important as source of food uh, recycling nutrient and to produce different medicine especially anti-cancer and antiviral the next one is the phylum Arthropoda. okay the phylum ultra uh, the word arthropoda came from the greek word altro means uh, joint pod means food so you can combine together okay they are they are they have a well developed nervous system with a complete gut which run from mouth to anus okay arthropod can be divided into five based on number of limbs presence in a number of uh, antenna in as well as in their body parts okay those fifth classes are class uh, chilopoda class diplopoda class crustacean class archinards okay let's start with insects insects are uh, they have uh, they live almost everywhere okay they, they they have divided into three body parts head thorax abdomen they have uh, three pair of joints Okay, they have a pair of antenna and compound eyes. You can compare and contrast in the form of table here. Clearly, okay, those five classes of arthropoda within their common name. The last one is the class Archinades. Okay, the spiders, mites, ticks, and scorpions are uh, classified in the in the Archinades. So finally, when we summarize, invertebrates are animal without backbone. And here are the groups of invertebrates. In the next video, uh, we will see about uh, vertebrate. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. This is all about uh, the second video. If you have any comment, any suggestion, please don't hesitate to comment and to suggest. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself. Stay at your home.